Hello everyone. Preparing for a job interview in the aged care sector can be nerve-wracking, but with the right preparation and using the STAR format, that is situation, task, action and result, you can confidently showcase your skills and experiences. Let's dive into the top 5 interview questions you may encounter when applying for a job in the aged care sector, along with impressive answers. In this video, we will be covering questions that focus on key competencies required in aged care, such as effective communication, teamwork, working in difficult situations, empathy and standard operating procedures. So here are the top interview questions and answers for job seekers in aged care. You can tailor the responses based on your personal experience. So first up, we have a common question. Tell me about your experience working in aged care and how it has prepared you for this role you have applied. To answer this question, we will use STAR format. First, situation. In my previous role as an aged care worker at XYZ Aged Care Facility, I had the opportunity to provide care and support to a diverse range of elderly residents. My primary task was to ensure the physical and emotional well-being of the residents while also promoting their independence and dignity. I consistently implemented person-centered care practices by actively listening to the residents, understanding their unique needs and adapting my approach accordingly. For example, I assisted residents with activities of daily living such as bathing, dressing and grooming always considering their preferences and respecting their privacy. Additionally, I diligently monitored and administered medications, adhering to the facility's policies and procedures to ensure the residents' safety. I also engaged residents in social activities, organizing group exercises and recreational programs to promote socialization and enhance their quality of life. As a result of my experiences in aged care, I have developed a deep understanding of the physical and emotional needs of elderly residents. This has also strengthened my interpersonal and communication skills, enabling me to effectively engage with residents, their families and care team. Next, let's discuss a question that focuses on effective communication. Question. Tell me about a time when you demonstrated effective communication skills with an elderly resident who had difficulty expressing their needs. In my role as an aged care worker, I cared for an elderly resident who faced challenges in communicating their needs due to cognitive or physical impairments. My task was to establish effective communication with the resident, ensuring their needs were understood and met. I approached the resident with patience and empathy, recognizing their limitations and finding alternative means of communication. I used non-verbal cues such as gestures and facial expressions to enhance understanding. Through these communication strategies, I was able to establish a connection with the resident and effectively meet their needs. The resident felt understood and supported which resulted in increased comfort, reduced agitation and a sense of security. Next, let's discuss a question that focuses on teamwork. Question. Describe a time when you worked as a part of a team to provide comprehensive care for multiple elderly residents. During my time as an aged care worker, I worked as a part of a team responsible for the care of multiple elderly residents with varying needs and preferences. My task was to collaborate with the team to provide person-centric care for the residents. I actively participated in team meetings, sharing information and insights about the residents' conditions, preferences and care plans that were under my supervision. I supported my colleagues, offering assistance during busy periods and communicating effectively to ensure a coordinated approach to care. I also collaborated with other departments such as nursing or therapy to ensure holistic care was provided. Through effective teamwork and collaboration, we were able to provide comprehensive care to the residents. The residents experienced improved outcomes and increased satisfaction. Moving on, we have a question that addresses your approach to handling challenging situations. Question. 
Tell me about a time when you dealt with a challenging behavior from an elderly resident. How did you handle it? In my role as an aged care worker, I encountered a situation where an elderly resident displayed challenging behavior, such as aggression or resistance to care. My task was to respond to the challenging behavior in a calm and professional manner, ensuring the safety and well-being of both the resident and the care team. I assessed the situation taking into account any trigger or underlying causes for the behavior. I remain calm and composed, understanding that the resident's behavior may stem from confusion, frustration or fear. I employed de-escalation techniques such as using a soothing tone and offering choices whenever possible. I ensured a safe environment by removing any potential hazards and seeking assistance from colleagues if needed. I communicated with the resident, acknowledging their emotions and attempting to redirect their focus to a more positive or engaging activity. After the incident, I documented the event accurately and reported it to the appropriate channels for further review and support. By employing these strategies, the challenging behavior gradually subsided and the resident's well-being was maintained. Now let's discuss a question that focuses on your ability to abide with policies and procedures. Question. Describe a time when you had to handle a medical emergency for an elderly resident. How did you ensure their safety and well-being? During my time as an aged care worker, I encountered a situation where an elderly resident experienced a sudden medical emergency, such as a fall or a cardiac event. My task was to respond quickly and effectively, ensuring the resident's safety and well-being until medical professionals arrived. I quickly assessed the situation, ensuring the area was safe and called for emergency assistance. I provided first aid while keeping the resident calm and reassured. I communicated with the resident explaining what was happening and seeking their cooperation. After the incident, I documented the event accurately for reporting. As a result of the swift response and effective communication, the resident received prompt medical attention, which contributed to a positive outcome. So guys, if you do get a call for an interview, make sure that you give your 100% and you can do this by preparing for these interview questions and answers. Do comment below why you want to make a career in aged care sector. Is it your kindness and empathy or is it the job security that excites you? Don't forget to like and subscribe the channel. Till then, take care and I will see you in the next video. Stay safe and stay happy. Bye.